Hi, my name is Erica Thomas, and I am the Public Information Office Manager for the Lincoln Police Department. We're here today to learn more about CenterPoint's community response programs and its partnership with LPD. Let's start first with introductions. Amber? Yes, so I am Amber Dirks. I'm the Senior Director of Community Response here at CenterPoint. I'm Ben Kopsa. I'm a captain with the Lincoln Police Department, and I work with the Behavioral Health Unit. So Amber, let's start with you. Talk a little bit about CenterPoint and the community response programs. Absolutely. So CenterPoint is an agency here in Lincoln primarily, but we do have 40 programs across Lincoln and Omaha. We are a whole health organization with the mission of helping the people that we serve get better sooner for longer. And really our programs range. So we have primary care, we have psych services, we have inpatient um, residential, we have short-term residential, we have crisis response, street outreach, we have outpatient therapy, day programming. So we have a variety of different programs. Some of those other programs that we have fall into the community response. So that's what's under me, which is our crisis response team, our street outreach team. We have our link point program. So essentially it's jail diversion, civil protective custody. And then we have our peer act team, which is assertive community treatment. That's also a community based program. So let's talk a little bit about the partnership between CenterPoint and LPD. What are some of the programs that the two agencies work on together and how did that partnership evolve and grow over the years? For years, officers know, have known that CenterPoint is just a place to refer people to. And so even outside of these great programs, officers um, are constantly either taking people to CenterPoint, um, showing them where CenterPoint is, giving, pointing them in this direction. Uh, furthermore, the uh, mobile crisis response has been something that since 2020 uh, we implemented with the uh, help of our mental health coordinator and CenterPoint. And that's a program where officers are out on a call for service. They're recognizing that the person needs more support um, and wants to get that support there at the site of the incident for the person and calls the mobile crisis response team to respond. The team mobilizes and gets out in the field, um, has a warm handoff with the officer, and, and then really takes over working th with that individual in the community. What sort of success stories have you seen from these programs? Yeah, last year there was a training where uh, Amber was actually at our in-service talking to officers about this program and an officer that the day before had received the training remembered about mobile crisis response. They called us, we got mobile crisis response out there and the officer was getting to the point where their only option left was to place the person in emergency protective custody. And after uh, mobile crisis response coming out and talking to the individual, that was avoided. And so uh, those kinds of things are happening all the time. It's just that that one was right there in our, um, right in front of us because we were training it and um, talking to the officers directly. And so it was a really, a really good outcome for the community and for that person. And why is it so important to try to avoid emergency protective custody and EPC if possible? I think from the mental health side of things, I think one, it decreases stigma related to mental health because people don't want to talk about it because they fear being placed into those more controlled settings. I also think it really allows for people to get the support that they need. Yes, the hospital might be the level of care at times that people need, but ultimately it doesn't help with the long term mental health symptoms that somebody's experiencing or maybe the mental health crisis that they're experiencing. So I think being able to give them more of those supports in the community allows for ongoing care to address mental health. That makes sense. Looking forward, do CenterPoint or LPD have any upcoming community response programs that we can look out for? So one of the ones that uh, CenterPoint was awarded, it's called Square One, and we'll be providing the crisis response services there. That'll be more aimed for youth and families experiencing crisis. So really it's going to be a continuum of what we're currently doing with crisis response and. That'll also add in the possibility of having four mental health respite beds as well for youth. Yeah, and Lincoln Police is um, involved in the planning and um, implementation of Square One, and so we're happy to have the partnership already existing with CenterPoint so that as we make the decisions on how the facility is gonna be 
constructed and um, how people are going to be, um, how youth are going to be brought and how intake's going to happen. We're there through that process and assisting in any way that we can. Well, thank you both for your time. We look forward to growing this partnership and thank you for all you do for the community. Thank, thank you. you.